My work um, here at Cambry Wellcome Trust Research Program involves uh, developing um, effective and innovative community and public engagement uh, initiatives that will enable community members and publics to be uh, part and parcel of research. So community and public engagement um, involves creating platforms, uh, creating avenues that enable researchers on one hand and uh, members of the community on the other hand to come together um, and using good communication skills and good facilitation skills, leading them through a dialogue uh, that is mutually beneficial to both parties. Our community and public engagement uh, strategy has two structures. On one hand, we engage the community purely uh, as a way of giving information and receiving information from community members. So we give information, for example, in terms of what health research is, why it is important, um, why um, we, are doing, we are doing it in this particular region. Uh, we give information also about why it is important for community members to understand their rights, why they should, uh, why they should be involved in research and the kind of uh, processes and procedures that will be undertaken, uh, and them to understand that they can join uh, research freely without coercion, uh, leave research at any time they want to without any consequences. Uh, so that is part of information giving. And while we, while we do that, we are receiving feedback, we are receiving concerns, views from community members in the general uh, engagement. The other hand, we have uh, what we call study-specific engagement. And in study-specific engagement, we basically work with scientists. It starts all the way from when a researcher is developing their concept. And we look at uh, what is the study about, and then begin at that point to think through with a scientist what kind of engagement will be needed for this type of work. And that moves on to proposal development at the point when the scientist is developing their proposal. And we sit uh, in proposal development meetings or protocol development meetings and um, look at the protocol and look at what engagement strategy the scientist has put together for their study and advise whether that is appropriate. If it is not appropriate, we then um, uh, guide them through what stakeholders do you need to engage, what methods do you use, do you use meetings, do you use workshops, do you go out in community meetings to talk to community members. We further move on to looking at uh, consent documents. Uh, what information has been put into information and consent uh, forms that is important for the research participant to know and understand? What language uh, has been used? Is it language that a participant can understand? Um, and if the language is technical, then we advise the researcher to tone it down. And then we uh, further move on to support the translation of those uh, consent documents from English to Swahili and vernacular uh, languages. So those are sort of like the two broad uh, structures and approaches that we use here at the Cambry Wellcome Trust research program for our community engagement. Two key things that have come up in the last five to ten years uh, that are important things for community and public engagement is one, the issue of trust and relationship building. It is a continuous process and any person who is intending to uh, implement community engagement activities especially when they intend to stay in a particular area for a long time, they, they must know that community engagement is a process. Relationship building is ongoing. Uh, trust building is ongoing. One minute you have trust uh, from the community members, the next minute you don't. Something has happened in the community that has broken that trust and you need to put uh, in place measures to mend to make amends with the community, to remedy what has happened in the community. So it's a process. That is one key thing that we are continuously learning and um, um, 
has been going on over the last uh, sort of like five to ten years. The other thing that um, uh, is important for community and public engagement that has come up in the last five to ten years is that um, researchers uh, need to also build capacity of how they communicate with uh, community members, building their skills, understanding the importance of engagement and what that puts into their research, the value engagement brings into their research. That's very important um, because community members are the people who participate in research. So it's important for a researcher to understand the lived experiences of community members or of research uh, participants in order for them to use that information that they get to help improve uh, their studies. So those are sort of like the two broad um, areas uh, uh, that uh, sort of like have come up as important areas in the last, uh, the last five years. It is important to invest in community engagement and, it is in, and, and uh, engagement itself is important because um, on one hand you have community members who are the ones that uh, first of all host research activities. So for an institution like uh, Cambridge Wellcome Trust, we are, hosted, we are hosted within a community. Within that community, we have people or uh, um, individuals who will volunteer to participate in studies. So health research um, develops products, uh, equipment that are going to benefit community members, are going to be used in um, health services, for example and they have to be tested on somebody. They have to be tested on somebody. Somebody has to study the human body. So uh, research participants take time away from their work uh, to come and do research. Um, we are in their homes. We are in their faces uh, regularly. So it is important to fund engagement activities to develop uh, um, initiatives and approaches uh, that will empower community members to understand uh, what they are getting involved in. We are in a middle income country. Literacy levels are, are not the best. And uh, often we find that um, information that is put in uh, scientific documents or documents where uh, participants are required to give their consent can be technical. And so uh, activities that enable community members to understand the entire process of research are important activities to fund. On the other hand, uh, engagement also is important because it helps ethical conduct of research. So that already is a very important factor or for, for somebody who is thinking, should I put in an investment in this type of work? It enables uh, researchers to understand um, concerns from community members uh, that help them as they think through their next research work in terms of how best do I uh, ensure that I'm, I'm conducting my research ethically.